This is amazing. Now we are going to see how to integrate your own database with an AI application. In this, we are going to use Kohe command or large language model and use function calling, that is tools to integrate the database. So in this, I'm going to show you how to configure your AI application, how to create custom tools to integrate your database, then add that custom tool to the large language model and finally get an output. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about database integration in your AI application. We are going to use command or large language model, SQLite DB. So in this, when the user asks a question to the large language model, then it is going to interact with the database and finally give the answer. So the database is SQLite. You can even replace this with MySQL or Postgres. Then AI is Cohere. You can replace this with any other large language model. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So here is the database table. So we have product catalog table and sales data table. So when browsing the data, you can see the data contains product ID, category, name, price, and stock level. Similarly, when going to sales data, you can see the date, total sales amount, and total units sold. So this is a simple database for us to understand. I will also provide information regarding how to create this database in the description below if you want to. So first step, pip install Cohere and Rich. Cohere is the main package. Rich is for displaying the result in a clear format. That is optional. Now we are installing it. Next, let's export our Cohere API key, which you can generate from Cohere dashboard. So once after you click enter, next let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. In this, we are going to configure and create custom tools. Next, integrate that to the large language model. Third, we are going to run the tool, that is execute the tool based on the response from the large language model. And finally, we get the output. So here, the tool integration is nothing but function calling. So the tool which we are going to integrate is our database. So overall, this is an AI application with a database integration. So first step, configuration and creating tools. We are importing Cohere, JSON, OS, SQLite. From rich import print. Next, let's initiate Cohere and initiating the client. Next, let's set up the connection between the database and this application. So we are using SQLite 3 dot connect and the database name. Next, initiating the connection. So basic configuration done. Next, we are going to create two different functions. One function is to get the daily report. Another function to get the catalog. So first function, query daily sales report. So this function will automatically execute the SQL query to get the total sales amount and total units sold and finally return that data. That's it, a simple function. Similarly, we are going to create another function called query product catalog. This is going to query the product ID, name, price and stock level from the product catalog and return the results. The two function defined. Now we need to define the function map. This is used when we call the tool or the run the tool. Next, we need to tell the large language model what this tool can do. Because by default, large language model don't have the ability to understand what each tool does, at least for now. So we are going to tell large language model what each of this tool is capable of doing. So the first tool, query daily sales report, is able to connect to the database and retrieve the overall sales volume and sales information. By providing this, the large language model understand that if a daily report is required, it need to use this tool. Similarly, for querying product catalog, connects to a product catalog with information, retrieving the prices and stock level. So now the large language model reads this information and understand when to use these tools. So this is called function definition or tool definition. Next, we need to set what task to do and the style guide. So we are providing that information and assigning to that variable. Now, the important part, that is the user request. So this is the question which we are going to ask the large language model. Can you provide a sales summary for 29th September 2023? And also give me some details about the products in 
electronics category. For example, their prices and stock levels. So we are going to ask this question to AI, that is Kohe command R. Step number two, integrating the tool with the large language model. So we are going to initiate with co.chat function. This is the area we are going to define the tool. Provide preamble, that is the task and style guide, and command R is the model. Next, we are going to print for our reference. So the third step is to run the tool. So when you ask this question to the large language model, the large language model understands that it doesn't have these in requested information. So it is going to use the tools to retrieve the user's request. So this large language model is going to use tools to be able to respond to the user's query. So we are parsing the output from the large language model. That means the large language model is telling us, use a tool, run the tool, and return back the output. When the user asks, what is the sales report for today to the large language model, then the large language model Kohe command R is going to respond back to us to use tools, that is our database tool. So that is going to search the database and then send the final response to the large language model. And we get the output. So we have completed till this step. So the next step is to run the tool. So before proceeding further, I want to run this code in your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. Now you can see the response from the large language model. So the large language model is telling us to use query daily sales report and query product catalog. Now we are going to use this information and run the database. So third step running the tool that is running the database and returning back the response. So tool results and then looping through the output that is a response which we just saw, understand what function to run and what is the input for that function here in the parameters. This is where you're integrating the database with the large language model. So running the tool and getting the output and that output is sent back to the large language model using this. Now we are going to print for our reference. So let's try running this Python app.py and here is the response. So we use this information then we ran the MySQL query and then got the response. Now we are sending this response back to the large language model. That is step number four, generate response. So we are using code.chat again and providing the tool results here, sending that back to the large language model, keeping all other things the same. Now printing the final answer, response.message. As an addition, we also going to print the citation from which source this information is taken from. So that is a bonus step. Next, we are printing the citation for our reference. So the citations come for free with Cohere. Now we're going to create a function, insert citations in order. So this function will generally loop through the citation and print in order, that's it. This is just for our reference. I'll put all the information on the code in the description below. So as a quick summary, first we did our configuration, created two tools. One is to query daily sales, another one query the product catalog, then assign that tool to the large language model in step number two. Step number three, we got the response from the large language model, ran the tool, that is ran the MySQL query against the database and returned back the response. So in the fourth step, we are getting the final answer from the large language model with citations. Now I'm going to run this code, Python app.py in your terminal. And here's the final answer. On September 29th, 2023, the total sales was 10,000 and total units sold were 250. And you can see the same information in the database. Next answer, here are some details about products in the electronics category, and it gives smartphone, laptop, and tablet. And when we see the product catalog, we can see smartphone, laptop, tablet. Finally, we're printing the citation that is source one and from where it got the information. Next, source two, category, and where it got the information from, as simple as that. Now you are able to integrate any database with your AI application. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.